Welcome to another episode of What I Bought This Month, August Edition. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kanisha. The name of this channel is called Lux Living for Less. And on this channel, I try my best to give you tips and tricks on how to live a fabulous lifestyle on a four less budget. By the title, you already know that this is another installment of what I bought this month. So August was kind of a slow month for me. I didn't really buy a lot at all, but I don't want to prolong this intro. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I bought this month is a covering for the pool equipment. You guys know I just recently completed a pool build. The pool has been installed maybe two, two and a half months now. The pool equipment itself is unsightly. I did not like the pool equipment from the beginning and I knew from the beginning when they showed us what it looked like that I was going to want to get something to cover it. So once the pool uh, was installed and the equipment was installed and we had a chance to see how it was going to look, my husband um, ordered the pool covering from Amazon and it really honestly just looks like vinyl fencing. It's four by four and it goes around the pool covering. Now, we do need another set. We do. I told my husband from the beginning to order two sets. He did not listen because he was like, oh, this is gonna be enough. Well, it wasn't. So now we have to order another set. They were fairly inexpensive. We got them from Amazon. I'm sure you can probably get them from any other home improvement store. Um, they were only $150 for the set. So another set is on the way, but I do like how it has covered um, the portion that we have covered so far. It is not so much of an eyesore to me as it was when the equipment was exposed. So that is the first thing that I purchased in the month of August. The next thing that I purchased this month is just a simple, plain white, very inexpensive bookcase. You guys know that the next project on my home improvement list, one of them anyway, I mean, really. Our home improvement projects ever really over? Not really, because by the time you finish one and you think you're done, you look around and you're like, I don't like that anymore. But anyway, the bookcase we're going to use as a, a storage or shelving for my husband's shoes. The overall look that we're going for in the closet is going to be all white. Everything in the closet is going to be white with the exception of the rug, which is going to be the pop of color. Um, and white is just going to make the room appear larger than what it actually is. I mean, face it, it's a bedroom by floor design. So it's small in theory, but big enough for a closet nonetheless. And it's really just going to blend in very nicely with the overall look that we're going for in that room. But that is just another thing that I purchased in the month of August. The next thing that I purchased this month for the home is a mop. Now, the, the mop that I purchased is by O Cedar. I did have the O Cedar mop before, you know, the one where you just, um, you just press the foot pedal and it kind of rings the mop head out for you. I kind of stopped using that one because I quickly realized, okay, you're putting it into the bucket, but you're redistributing water that you mopped off the floor into the bucket back onto the floor. So I quickly stopped using it because it was, it, it really was unsanitary. I, I think I may have used it twice and it had just been sitting um, in my garage unused. Well, Old Cedar came out with a second mop that has a dual tank system. And this mop, it allows you to keep your dirty water separate from your clean water. I don't know why they didn't think of that before, but whatever. So when I saw that they came out with that mop, I quickly purchased it. Now this mop was a little pricey. This mop was $55. My husband was not too happy about that because he was like, you could have just got the Swiffer. Swiffer don't really get that clean to me. I need something that I can, you know, put some cleaning solution in. I don't want just a regular pad. To me, Swiffers are just for, you know, those minor cleanups and touch-ups. But when I want a mop, I want a mop. So the O Cedar mop bucket with the dual tank system, um, I did purchase that. I am very pleased with it. Um, like I said, it was $55. I purchased it from Walmart, but that is just another thing that I purchased for the home in the month of August. The next thing I purchased this month for the home are these two vases. Now, 
If you watched my last vlog, you've already seen these, but I purchased these from Overstock. This is the larger one. And this one probably is about 24 inches long, if I had to guess. This one probably is about 16 inches long. And like I said, I purchased these from Overstock. And these are vases. They're open at the top. I purchased those to go on my dining room console table. You guys know I was looking for something that would offer a touch of gold without being too gaudy in the space. And I came across those on Overstock. They were perfect. I immediately purchased them. They were very inexpensive for the set. I think the set was $52 if I'm not mistaken. Um, it may be a, a, a couple of dollars more than that. And like I said, they came in a set. They go on my dining room table. They complement the space very nicely. I'm very pleased with them. But that is just another thing that I purchased for the home in the month of August. All right, another thing that I purchased in the month of August is from a friend who has recently started um, her own business and she started a candle business. We all know that the candle industry is a multi-billion dollar industry. How many of you right now have candles that you have purchased from Bath & Body Works years ago that are still sitting in a cabinet on your um, bathroom counter, wherever they are, and they have never been lit? So she started her own business and you guys, she is doing quite well. This is my friend that is from Dallas. She was here a couple of weeks ago and while she was here, she brought some samples of her um, inventory for us to sample. Well, lo and behold, us being the supportive friends that we are, as you should be to your friends when they're starting a new business venture, we bought her completely out, you guys. And I cannot say how happy I am for her and how happy I am with the products that I purchased. So let me show you what it is and I will leave her name across the screen so that if you are interested in a candle you can definitely reach out to her the first candle I purchased is this candle it's called Coco Lime and y'all it smells so good I burn this I light this in the morning when I get up to get ready for work and I leave it burning all day I can smell it all the way upstairs I'm not even joking I mean Coco Lime, it smells exactly like what the name says. These were her test jars. She was just trying to test, you know, how different vessels would react to the wax. Now, in addition to her doing candles, y'all, she also does the wax melt cubes. You know, like those ones you see in Walmart or Target that you put in the, um, the little wax candle melts that you plug in or the ones that you sit on your table. She doing it big. Look at the packaging on it, y'all. I mean, look at it. This is also Coco Lime. This is my favorite scent, by the way. This is also Coco Lime. And then she made this one, which is fresh scent. And if I had to describe what this one smells like, it probably is comparable to maybe a fresh linen scent or a fresh laundry scent. It's just very fresh. Like the name says, I absolutely love this. She also does custom scents. She is in the process now of making me a custom scent. I have named it Rich Auntie, and it is going to be in the scent of Baccarat Rouge 540. I'm so excited, I cannot wait. She went out, you guys, and found the essential oil. She sent me a sample of the oil to make sure that it that is what it was, because she said, I don't know about that perfume. She doesn't wear a lot of perfume. She has um, allergies and the perfumes will aggravate her. So she went out, found the essential oil, sent me a sample of the oil to make sure that was a smell. It was, it smells so good. She and I talked, I said, honey, make it and send me an invoice. She was like, well, let me just send you a sample. No, don't waste that inventory. We already know what the product smells like and we know that's it. Go ahead, make my candle, send me an invoice. I named my candle rich auntie because if you have ever smelled baccarat rouge it smells very luxe so happy for her happy to support her i hope her business grows beyond her wildest dreams but those candles and those wax cube melts are just another thing that i purchased for the home in august now because i purchased this candle i had to have something to put the candle in right so i went to at home and i purchased a simple candle holder now, I like the accordion style design on the glass. Um, I like how it's, you know, 
a little frilly, but not too much. This sits on the table in my entryway and I just sit the candle right inside and I let it burn all day. Now this candle holder, it was only $11.99 from at home. I use my husband's military discount, so I got an extra 15% off if your military at home does offer a military discount. Um, but I really like this, it's, it's, it offers just enough texture um, to put in any space where it won't take over the space. So like I said, I, I use this on my table that's in my entryway and I put the candle that my friend made inside. It's a perfect fit and I love it. And it's just another thing that I purchased this month in August. All right, the last thing that I purchased for the home in the month of August, it was not for me, it was for the hubs, is white Hennessy. Now you guys know that they don't sell this in the States. Um, you really only can get this if you go like on a cruise or something like you travel to an island. I don't know why they don't sell this in the States. I don't know if it's a customs thing. I don't, I don't know if it's a proprietary thing with the islands. I don't know, but, um, I don't know. But a friend of mine went on a cruise to celebrate her 50th birthday. Happy birthday, Vivian. And she was gracious enough to bring my husband back um, two bottles of white Hennessy to add to his collection. He has three bottles of white Hennessy already, so I gave her money to purchase two extra, so he has a total of five. He tries to keep it stocked because, again, um, they don't sell it here in the States. Now, now I don't know what it tastes like. You guys know I'm not much of a drinker, especially a drinker of brown liquor. I just have never liked the taste. I don't even like the smell of it. But, um... My husband does enjoy a spirit from time to time. So um, he tries to keep the white Hennessy stock because it's not something that he could just go back to the store and order. So thank you, Vivian, for purchasing those bottles of Henn white Hennessy for my husband. We appreciate it. But that is the last thing that I purchased this month for the home in August. All right, you guys, moving on to fashion. The first fashion item that I purchased in the month of August or just a pair of Celine dupes. Now, if you all watched um, my vlog, maybe two vlogs ago, you would have saw that I purchased these from Five and Below. These are just the Celine dupes that I'm sure you've seen um, on you know, pretty much any major influencers page. These pretty much look just like the Celine. And these were only $5. I really love how they look on me. I like how they frame my face. They frame, frame my face very nicely. And like I said, these were only $5. Now it goes without saying that you guys know I am not a trendy type of person. I don't typically follow the trends. However, if there is an item that is trendy at the moment and I like it, then I will purchase it. But I won't purchase it just because it's trending. Does that make sense? And this is what happened with these sunglasses. I, like I said, I really did like them. I first saw these on Janae Hilo Lux's page when she saw when she had them on one day randomly in one of her um, photos. And I saw those. I was like, those are nice. But I was not interested in paying the Celine price. Um, but then she later shared that she found a pair of dupes on Amazon. And I think they were maybe there maybe $11 on Amazon. I still wasn't in any rush to purchase them. I was out one day randomly at five and below and I saw these and I said, girl, quickly pick them up. But again, I love these. And this is just one of the things I purchased in the month of August for fashion. All right, the next fashion item that I picked up in the month of August was just this gold bar bracelet. Y'all, I have been watching this bracelet for a quite a while. I first saw this at Saks for like $30, $35 maybe, I think it was. And I was like, I don't know if I want to pay $35 for that. Lo and behold, I found a very similar item. Looks identical to the one that was in Saks for, I believe it was $20 if I'm not mistaken. How you put it on, you just unscrew it like so. The entire screw comes out. You just slip your arm in. You play, I put the bracelet on backwards. You place the screw back in and you just screw the bracelet back on your wrist. And you tighten it, you know, to, to secure it so it won't come apart. 
and this is what it looks like. I like bracelets that are simple but complex in design, if you know what I mean. Like they're just not the regular standard bracelet. I like bracelets that have some type of interesting contrast to it, but really like this and I got it off Amazon. Everything that I can find links for, I definitely will have it linked in the description box below. But this is just another fashion item that I purchased in the month of August. Another fashion item that I purchased in the month of August are these Gianni Beanie High Heel Gladiator Sandals. Now, um, if you watch my vlog, now if you watch my, now if you watch my, now if you watch my vlog where um, I was going through my um, journey with Miss Girl. Then you would have saw these because they came during my recovery process. But I bought these when Dillard's um, had when I bought these when Dillard's had their start of their end of summer sale. The sale is actually going on still now, and the sale is actually better now than it was when I purchased these. Here are the shoes. It has like the rhinestone detailing on the strap of the shoe. It does come probably to about your knee. It zips up the back and then it has um, like kind of like a clear heel but not quite and then it has a rounded toe. These are a dupe for the Amina Mawadi Aug um, ASAP Rocky collaboration. Now, the Amina Mawadi version of this shoe is about $2,200, $2,300. We ain't doing that over here. We are Lux living for less. When I purchased these, Dillard's had these on sale for $50. I think the regular, the regular price was $149. And when I purchased them, they were around $50. Now I looked at their sale yesterday because they sent me another email to say, hey, our end of summer sale is still going on. And I think these are now $35 or $39. So they're even cheaper than they were when I purchased them. They still had a bunch of sizes available. Love these shoes. I am gonna take these to the cobbler because, I, can we talk for a minute? I just want these shoe designers to realize that not every woman in America has a calf that is 14 inches wide. We got real women out here. We need y'all to make shoes like this when you're making them. Keep the girls with the real size calves in mind and make them like 16, 17 inch wide so we don't have to take them to the cobbler and get extra fat fabric added so that we can stretch it. But I digress. Still like the shoe nonetheless. I can zip it, but it looks, my leg looks a little um, sausage-like in these and that just ain't cute. So I have time to get these. Um, alter I guess before I wear them next frame but again love these and again this is a dupe for the Amina Mawadi ASAP Rocky all collaboration her shoe is about $22, $2,300 this one you can get right now at Dillard's for about $35, $39 but this is just another fashion item that I purchased this month in August. All right you guys moving right along the next fashion item that I purchased in the month of August was for me and it is a pair of sneakers and y'all now i have been wanting these sneakers for a little minute i saw these one day on instagram and you guys know with this um update that instagram had maybe a month month and a half ago now you're seeing more uh posts from people that you don't follow than people that that you do follow i don't know the update was very weird but anyway an instagram influencer came across my timeline and she had the shoes on immediately i did a google search because i was like i want those found the shoe the shoe had been released a while ago and of course by the time i went to get the shoe in my size of course it was gone because it was already way past the release date well lo and behold nike decided to re-release the shoe i guess it was just that popular and that successful in its launch and when they did my friend who is on the sneaker app because she gets shoes all the time she was like hey these are these shoes that you want and she um told me what to do to download to get the shoe or whatever well lo and behold the release date was august 27th 
I was waiting at 10 o'clock to get these shoes, got all the way to check out, and it just spun and spun and spun and spun and would and would not process my payment like it's probably still spinning to the day okay but my friend being the good friend that she is and she knew how much i wanted these shoes she was also on the app waiting and she got the shoes for me you guys so even though i wasn't able to get them myself she did come in as the clutch to get the shoes for me which i was so appreciative of these are the women's nike dunk high and here they are y'all i love these now why i really like this look at that denim detail right there i love this shoe and when the young lady um whose page i originally saw these on she had these styles so many different ways i mean i believe in one picture she was wearing a skirt one picture she was wearing a dress another she was wearing jeans another she was wearing shorts i mean like y'all I absolutely love these shoes. These are a size eight and a half. I probably could have went up to a nine, but um, my friend had already ordered the eight and a half for me and the nine was already sold out. I can still wear eight, uh, eight and a half. I'll just have to wear a thin sock, but they ain't going back, okay? They're not going back. I love these shoes. And again, these are the Nike Dunk High. I think they're called like the OG or something. I don't know, child. You know, I don't know sneakers, but I love these. Cannot wait to wear these um, in the winter time. I have nothing bad to say about these shoes. I love them. These were $125 and um, she purchased them from the sneaker app, um, from the Nike sneaker app, but um, absolutely love these. But this is just another thing that I purchased in the month of August. All right, moving right along. The next few items that I purchased are all tech items kind of. The first item is a tripod with a selfie light. It looks like this. And I, this is an LED light, by the way. And I purchased this from Five Below. It was $5. And it comes with a little, um, it comes with a tripod, little, little itty bitty tripod. So it's like, so it's like tabletop um, friendly. And it does have this little ring light. This is where your cell phone goes and it is adjustable. This is not big enough to fit your tablet. It's just big enough to fit your cell phone. It has like a spring tension that releases, but this little LED light is battery operated. I don't have any batteries in it, so I can't give you the full effect of how it works, but from the packaging, it gives you a good illustration on what it looks like. But um, I think I'm probably going to like this. I have not used it yet, but, um, very inexpensive device. It's just one tech item that I purchased this month in August. All right, the next tech item that I purchased this month is also a bendable or flexible cell phone stand. Now this one, as you can see from the illustration, it can bend and flex in so many different ways. This again was only $5 from five below. You can manipulate this to stand straight up tall. You can manipul manipulate it to stand um, at a flat surface. It does have like a suction function at the bottom. So if you sit it on glass or a wood surface or whatever to make it secure. But again, this is only $5 from five below. And it's just another tech item that I purchased this month in August. All right, the last tech item that I purchased this month in August is a phone ring light. And this is pretty much to be used like if you're out and it's dark and you want to take a selfie. And you know, sometimes when you use the flash on your camera, it gives like a weird um, glow across your face. I don't even know if that's what I'm really trying to describe it as. But you know what, I'm, what, what I mean when I say flash. It really just lights up your face and makes you look all kinds of crazy. At least it does for me anyway. But I purchased this in August and I love it on to our final category health and beauty these items were all purchased from Ross I purchased a set of eye mask and charcoal nose strips from the brand Effectima I purchased a brand of retinol and hyaluronic acid eye strips that hydrates and reduces the appearance of puffiness also from the brand Effectima and lastly I purchased a charcoal 
eliminate facial mask, facial sheet mask. Now, I find that my skin responds very well to charcoal, so I want to continue to use that. Um, but these were only $4.99 each. And like I said, I purchased these from Ross. Now you guys know if you purchase from Ross or TJ Maxx compared to Sephora or Ulta, you can find those same items for a much less expensive price than you probably have found in your Sephora's or Ulta's. But these, like I said, were only $4.99 each from the brand Effectima, and this is from the brand The Cram Shop. Those are the only health and beauty items that I purchased in the month of August. Well, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.